Hi, I'm Jonathan Kreth. And this is Gary Kreth, and we are with Kreth Partners of Cooper Sotheby's International Realty. And what we're here to talk about today is buying and selling real estate after the peak season. So, you know, Jonathan, something that I've always been interested in is, you know, I've been in this business for 21 years, and one thing I love to track is the seasonality of sales. Correct. So let's let's share with everybody what is the typical seasonality of sales and what are most typical realtors doing? Well, the first question you get when you go on a listing appointment is when should I put my house on the market? Yeah, you may be asking that same question as if you're interested in selling your house is when do I do this? And the standard answer is the springtime. Spring and summer. That's Why? That's it. Uh, because everything greens up. That's when all the buyers come out to the marketplace and they're looking to move for school, for work, whatever it might be. That's, that's the assumption. That's the assumption. Reality is different from the assumption. And in fact, Jonathan, over the past couple of decades, we actually sell more homes in the fall and winter than we do in the spring and the summer. And here's why. is because most real estate professionals and most sellers hibernate like bears during the winter. Very true. And it's because everybody has been trained and works under that false assumption that buyers aren't buying houses in the, in the winter, and that couldn't be further from the truth. And so because you've got people hibernating, your supply and your inventory is actually down. It's down. Which, as a seller, is perfect. That, that is, is perfect. That is the best uh, market for you because now you're not competing with as much inventory as you would yeah. with all the properties coming to the market in the spring and summer. Right. Well, not only that, the buyers who are looking to buy during the winter they're really motivated yes. to buy. They're out there looking for houses to buy. And if you have a house that is one of the one of the few homes on the market in the winter because everybody else has hibernated, well, it gives you a competitive advantage. The crazy thing is our production during the winter and fall months is around 50% for the entire year. There you go. So if you're interested in learning more about how to prepare your house for sale in the fall and winter after the peak season dies and after your competition disappears, all you need to do is reach out to us with the link in this video and we're here to help. Thank you so much and we can't wait to hear from you. Have a great day.